Hi guys, in this video, I wanna to talk to you about ashwagandha's ability to increase testosterone. Low testosterone is a hormonal imbalance that negatively affects one in four men over the age of 30. Now, considering the fact that testosterone is an androgenic hormone, it has anti-stress adaptive qualities and also major roles in ensuring proper energy production in the body. When testosterone levels are low, this is going to result in fatigue or low energy, increased stress, accelerated aging, sexual dysfunction or low libido, amongst many other unwanted, undesirable symptoms. Fortunately, low testosterone levels can be corrected, they can be corrected naturally, it's not an inevitable fate, and there are specific clinically proven or well-documented herbs like ashwagandha that are known to increase the production of testosterone naturally with no negative side effects. Now, for those of you unfamiliar with ashwagandha, this is a popular adaptogenic herb that's used in Ayurvedic herbal medicine. Now, as an adaptogenic herb, this is an herb that helps your body achieve balance. It supports the regulatory systems in the body. It helps to regulate the HPA axis, thus having a powerful anti-stress effect. And it's actually through ashwagandha's profound anti-stress effect, this ability to increase the body's resilience to stress and decrease the production of stress chemicals like cortisol that give it its major androgenic qualities. You see, one of the major contributing factors to low testosterone levels is stress, and specifically stress hormones like cortisol and estrogen. When the body is chronically stressed out, eventually what happens is it runs out of its ability to produce a sufficient amount of energy to cope with that stress. Now, when that happens from prolonged stress, chronic stress, or just intense stress, what happens is a phenomenon referred to as the pregnenolone steal. Now, what this basically refers to is your body stealing pregnenolone and converting it into cortisol instead of producing progesterone, which would be an anti-stress adaptive hormone and a precursor to testosterone. So in other words, chronic stress and the insufficient amount of energy to cope with that stress results in your hormone shifting from the production of adaptive hormones like progesterone and testosterone to the production of stress chemicals like cortisol. And this is the major way that cortisol contributes to a testosterone deficiency by basically stealing the precursor to testosterone and robbing the body of the raw material it needs to create testosterone and instead creates this stress chemical cortisol which is a secondary anti-stress hormone however cortisol comes with a variety of catabolic effects so we want to try to prevent this from happening as much as possible by ensuring that our body has a sufficient amount of energy to cope with stress now the second way that excess cortisol contributes to low testosterone levels is because cortisol has a feedback loop with estrogen. So as the cortisol rises, so does the estrogen. And estrogen is the basic hormone that opposes testosterone levels. So if estrogen levels are chronically high, that's gonna cause an imbalance in the ratio of estrogen to testosterone, resulting in low testosterone or something referred to as estrogen dominance, which would give you all the negative symptoms of low testosterone. Now insert ashwagandha. Ashwagandha has been clinically proven to lower cortisol levels up to 20% and therefore leave testosterone unopposed, resulting in an increase of testosterone up to 40%. So basically, ashwagandha is supporting the production of testosterone by decreasing the stress chemicals that would otherwise oppose testosterone. Now, in addition to this, there's some interesting research on ashwagandha's ability to increase testosterone and all of the common biomarkers of increased testosterone levels. So according to the study, it was discovered that men who supplemented with ashwagandha extract had significantly higher testosterone levels compared to those who did not. Furthermore, the men who supplemented with ashwagandha that engaged in strength training greatly outperformed those who did not supplement with ashwagandha based on these parameters. The men who supplemented with ashwagandha had increased strength, increased muscle mass, less exercise-induced muscle damage, less body fat, and an increased resistance to exercise-induced stress. So this study alone goes to verify and validate the fact that ashwagandha number one can decrease the stress response or the negative stress response that's associated with the chronic production of cortisol. At the same time, it's going to increase the production of testosterone and all of the common symptoms or biomarkers of high testosterone levels, mostly being increased strength, increased muscle mass, decreased catabolistic effects of cortisol, increased endurance, as well as the increased of resistance to stress. In addition to this research, there's further research that has found that ashwagandha not only increased testosterone levels, but it also increased the overall sex drive, 
sexual vigor or sexual health of those who supplemented with ashwagandha. Now what this study revealed was that ashwagandha is capable of increasing testosterone in a second more direct way by increasing the production of a hormone known as the gonadotropin hormone which is an essential precursor to the production of progesterone and as we learned earlier, progesterone is a basic precursor to testosterone levels. So this research has taught us two major things about ashwagandha in regards to testosterone levels. First, it indirectly increases the production of testosterone by lowering cortisol, which would otherwise oppose its natural production. Secondly, we've learned that ashwagandha can directly increase testosterone levels by increasing the production of the gonadotropin hormone, progesterone, and therefore testosterone levels. So if you're somebody who suspects or knows that you have low testosterone levels, the supplementation of ashwagandha extract is just one really simple thing that you can do that's actually effective at increasing testosterone levels naturally without the use of synthetic hormones or medications. Now before we end this video here, I do just want to remind you that the major inhibitory factor of optimal testosterone levels is stress. So anything that you can do to lower your chronic stress load, looking at all areas of your life is going to be beneficial for your hormonal levels, especially improving the production of testosterone. Additionally, I would recommend the utilization of all sorts of different adaptogenic herbs. Ashwagandha is just one of the herbs that has an adaptogenic effect, the ability to lower cortisol and regulate the HPA axis. But ultimately, anything that can lower cortisol levels and estrogen levels will have a beneficial effect on your testosterone levels. But if you're interested in learning how to optimize testosterone levels beyond the realm of supplementing with just ashwagandha, I would strongly recommend watching the video series that I made on that particular subject. Otherwise, that does bring this video to a close, so if you guys enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't already, and if you're interested in learning more or reading on this subject matter, I've written a blog post on this particular topic. I'll put a link to that in the description box below. Thanks so much for watching, guys, and we'll see you next time.